happy holidays. I am so happy to be here right now. You are watching this after Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you and your family, your friends, your dogs, your loved ones. I hope you guys had a fabulous Christmas. Today we have my holiday transformation and I am so happy to be filming this. I didn't film this before Christmas only because me personally, around Christmas time, um, I don't have any makeup on. Especially on Christmas Day, I'm in PJs, I'm in fuzzy socks, I don't have an ounce of makeup on. I enjoy being able to rub my eyes, being able to just lay on white blankets. You get the picture. This is a look that you can wear for future holiday parties, a New Year's Eve party. I know New Year's Eve, I'm glammed up. I'm always glammed up on New Year's Eve, hopefully. Or maybe I'll be eating Taco Bell on my couch. Yeah, I'll be eating Taco Bell on my couch, that's true. I'm gonna stop talking and just jump right into the video. So enjoy, happy holidays, and I will chat with you in the comment section. Mwah. First thing is first, I'm just gonna be priming my eyes with the P. Louise base. And this is, let me see what number this is. This is number 02. Um, I actually mix these a lot, like if you have any of the darker ones and you have the really white one, which is this one, you can totally mix them to make it your own tone. If concealer will do, primer will do, just make sure you're prime because we're gonna have a lot of stuff on these eyelids today. I'm picking up a tiny bit of the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder and I'm only setting this inner corner part right here. That's it. Everything else is still tacky from the primer. And the brush I'm using here is the Morphe MB23 brush. I cannot do any makeup application without this brush. So I'm picking up this gorgeous palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna grab this color right here. So picking up that brown shade, I'm gonna be applying it right here on the outer corner of my eye. Do you see how that primer just grabs on eyeshadow so well? And now all I'm doing is just buffing this in circular motions and I'm going to slowly bring it into my crease. I don't want to go really, really high with this because I don't want to kind of lose that lightness in the brow bone area, but go generous with your blending. You want to buff this out and make it seamless. Picking up a little bit more, and now I'm going directly into the crease and buffing it out. Picking up this brown from the Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette, I'm going to be dusting this right over top of the first brown shade that we applied, just because this is going to give us a little bit more of a seamless blend and warmth into our eye look. So this is a really standard soft brown color. And again, you guys, anything you use similar to these tones will work just fine. These are just the products that I am using and I will list everything below just for reference in case you do want to pick up any of these products. And if I do have any discount codes, I will also list them with the products down below. Okay, so now I'm thinking to do more of a darker outer corner. I don't want to be really bold on my eyes. No, that's such a lie. I want to be bold on my eyes, absolutely. But I don't want to be too bold right here. So we're going to work on the smokiness on the outer corner. So I'm going to pick up a smaller brush. I'm going to grab this brown tone very beautiful chocolate brown color and I'm using a Morphe JS6 brush from the Jeffree Star and Morphe collection and I'm simply just tapping this on my outer corner that I'm going to just dust off my brush I have a paper towel down here I'm just going to wipe off every additional pigment that we have just so my brush is kind of fresh and clean and then I'm going to simply some in a very small circular motions just buff this around the edges I'm not bringing this really, really close to my eyelid, I mean inner corner, but I'm focusing mainly on the outer corner. Next, we're going to pick up the first brush that we use, and I'm just going to be buffing everything outward. I'm going to do the same step one more time just to give this look a little bit more darkness and just buffing the outer corners. Picking up this black color from the same Persona palette, which by the way, this black Honey, you can't go back to no other black once you tried this black. Ooh, not sponsored, I swear. Picking up this black on a JS12 brush, any small little um, tapered brush will do. You just want to apply this only on the outer corners. Pigment. Pigment. And I'm simply just tapping this. Taking my brush, dusting all the black off, because if you blend with a lot of black, it will just be a disaster. I am going to be extending this shadow, 
kind of straight out towards my uh, end of my brow. And then I'm gonna bring it back and just buff with whatever is left on the outer corner of my eye. I am not picking up any more black right now, but I wanna kind of elongate this eye look and make it more catty. So we are gonna lift it up and just bring it down and I'm blending in a more zigzag motion versus circular because I don't wanna take this black everywhere. I kind of just wanna make sure it's seamless, but in its place. I picked up a little bit more and this time I'm simply just pressing the black again dusting off and repeating the same step one more time for this time around i'm a little bit more softer with my um pressure for the brush because i don't want to blend this out too much i want that black to just remain there next step i'm going to pick up the vanilla kiss caviar stick from la mercier and i'm simply just applying a little bit on my ring finger you don't even need a brush for this i'm going to be applying this base right on the inner half of my eye so wherever you see more bright um, brightness that's where we're going to be applying this this is going to act as a base for our lid shadow and it's super creamy which is why i'm totally fine using my fingers so you don't want to take this over top of the black it will just turn gray and messy so we want to avoid that and then when it gets to right here i take a synthetic brush like this and i kind of just blend it inward back inward we do not want this to touch the black my favorite part of this eye makeup look is the block party eyeshadow from dose of colors this is in the color can we no shall we dance it's such a soft i mean i don't want to say soft i say soft because i i think like it's so easy to apply this but it's such a beautiful champagne -y shimmer tone that it just adds so much oomph to your eye look this is better than any shimmer eyeshadow and it's easier to apply than any shimmer eyeshadow you guys notice how i stopped right here i do not want to blend this outward because some of this glitter and shine will get to the darker areas and i do not want that so what i'm going to do is kind of just bring it again back to the inner corner we're not blending this outward just blending it back in so it just kind of stays in its own place not bothering the darker shadows like stay in your lane that's all i'm trying to do so since we have the wing action going for this eye look i'm gonna pick up the schwing liquid eyeliner and i know what you're thinking you're thinking liquid eyeliners suck because that's what i would think every time i saw liquid eyeliners but this one is that it's that one you know, it's that one that does not stay shiny. It dries down matte. It dries down black. So all I'm doing is just applying a straight line, just like that, connecting my outer corner. And since we already built that wing out here, we don't necessarily need to sit and draw out a wing. But what I will do, I will go back in with a flat brush. This is from Laura Mercier. It is just a flat eyeliner brush. I'm going to pick up some of the black. And I'm simply going to just tap over top of where I stopped applying the liquid eyeliner and where the eyeshadow meets, just so they merge really well together. And if you do want to kind of go back and forth and buff this, you totally can. And then when you open your eyes, the liner connects to the wing. That's it. You can also just pick up that pencil brush that we used earlier and just buff this right here. I'm just gonna take a wipe and just clean up everything underneath here and extend this cat eye just a little bit like that. Perfect. We're gonna take a break from the eyes and come back. I'm gonna start on my face today. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. This is their step one primer. I'm already moisturized, so always moisturize prior to primers. I'm gonna be starting by applying it into the center of my face and then just like drag it outward. For foundation, I am picking up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my baby. You guys already know this. I don't even have to introduce this foundation. Um, but this is in the shade Tawny. I am kind of losing my tan back when I was honey bronze. <laughs> I love applying foundation with a sponge. I don't care how innovative your brush is. I don't care how incredible your brush is. A sponge is just like no other. I know you guys agree. Um, don't get me wrong though, I do enjoy applying foundation with brushes when I really don't care how my makeup is gonna turn out. Like on an everyday basis, I will just grab a brush and just like, if I don't have a clean sponge and I'm lazy to wash a sponge. But sponges just give this entire different finish that no brush 
no brush on the market can. Okay, foundation is on, and before I start concealing, I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring. This is the JS3 brush from Morphe and Jeffree Star's collab. I am picking up a darker concealer. This is the Dose of Colors number 27. Um, I like the consistency of this concealer, which is why I also use it for cream contouring, but I'm not going to cream contour crazy nothing crazy picking up my beauty sponge i'm just going to be blending this in by simply tapping on the areas that we contour so just like here the forehead merging the contour shade and my foundation shade i didn't pick up any additional foundation so whatever is left on the sponge just use that same thing here just press on top of the contour and voila i find that anytime your foundation is really light and you just don't feel like yourself you know when your foundation is too light you're just you're not feeling it i find that contouring the forehead or even just bronzing up there like how i did right here just brings back so much warmth to the skin that every person needs you know so i'm using the dose of colors concealer this time in my shade which is 14 and i'm just concealing nothing new you know i always think what did we do before sponges i'm trying to remember i mean i know there were those disposable triangular sponges but that wasn't it like i don't know what we did before this beauty blender came out mm -mm. it is just a mystery to me i mean we were fine but then again no we were the mac blue eyeshadows no honey we were not fine we were we were lost we were lost thank you jesus after buffing in my concealer i like to sometimes flip my sponge around and just kind of press in the area where the concealer and the foundation marry each other and just tap over top of it picking up some laura mercier translucent powder with my sponge i'm going to be baking underneath my eyes and then bringing it alongside of my nose like this above the lip dab on the chin and with whatever is left I like to just tap on my forehead since we're here I want to talk about some goals that I have for the new year because I know when you say it when you bring it in the universe it has to work I believe in law of attraction and it is what it is and also since I told you guys I am more likely to make it happen but my goal for this year for YouTube is to reach a hundred and thousand subscribers I know I have not been consistent on YouTube it's just because I have so much other things going on in life period I mean I don't only do YouTube obviously um i'm a makeup artist i actually do weddings i do makeup on clients um weekdays weekends weekends are mainly my busiest times an entire instagram you know actually if I, if i have to excel in youtube i feel like i might have to sacrifice my instagram tutorials would you guys be okay with that i mean i would only because i love watching youtube more but let me know in the comment section if you guys are okay with me just doing more of um, standard posting on Instagram versus tutorials. I wouldn't mind that because that will help me out a lot. Filming for Instagram is not, not as easy as that one minute tutorial comes out to be. Oh, I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. Oh my god, okay. Back to makeup. I just set my entire face with the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in the style Medium. This is the best setting powder period this leaves your face so smooth that i can actually touch my skin i know everyone right now is having a heart attack like she just touched her entire face that she glammed oh touchable you can kiss it anything i'm gonna bronze the skin now i'm using the megastar bronzer from morphe i love this bronzer and the boulevard b2 brush so i'm taking it on the forehead and on my cheekbones and a little bit down my jawline you know holiday desserts <laughs> begin to me a little bit more on this jawline bronzing truly is my favorite part of makeup it's that step that brings back everything it brings back the contrast it brings back just the warmth in your skin that makes you feel like you i love bronzing i could literally sit and bronze for hours 
I'm gonna pick up the lighter bronzer. This was Megastar. This was the one I used for my entire skin. And then this is gonna be for my nose contouring. So I'm gonna pick up a nice fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M441. I'm just gonna dip a little bit, nothing crazy, just that much. And then I'm gonna be going along the sides of my nose. I'm just brushing this downward. Truly no crazy fancy technique. I am just gonna be brushing this along the sides of my nose, little bit on the tip and the other side. Even though I'm not crazy nose contouring, this helps. Trust me. Using a Moda brush, I'm going to be picking up this blush called Guava. This is a Laura Mercier palette. And I'm going to be simply smiling and applying a little bit of this blush. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to apply something else. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to be applying a Turned On from the Flare palette. Yes. And with that same RCMA powder, I am simply cleaning up underneath everything we apply. I instantly remove this just because I don't like the line to be too obvious. And I'm picking up my powder brush and simply just dusting it off. I like that it gives a nice clean effect, but it doesn't have that sharp line that we're all afraid of, you know? Okay, just finished my brows off of camera. Now I'm going to conceal them with you guys here. And for concealer, I'm using the number 13 concealer from Dose of Colors. And I'm using the Samey 2.6 brush. This brush has the firmest yet fluffiest feel to it. I can't explain it. The density is just perfect. I kind of lift my brows and go under right here. Much more light-handed in the inner corner. And then I dust off everything from the brush and then I just kind of bring it downward just like this. This step cleans up your entire makeup look so much. It lifts the brow, it gives it a nice highlight and then if you like a matte highlight for the brow you can just leave it like this. Picking up the caviar stick in the shade Coco which is a nice rich brown, I'm going to be applying eyeliner only on the outer portion of the eye. No look is complete for me without a smoky under eye. I don't care what I'm doing. I don't care where I'm going. If I want to look good and I want to feel like myself, I have to smoke out this lower lash line. I don't know what it is, but it just it just makes me feel like me, you know? All you want to do is just take it back and forth. On that same brush, I'm going to be picking up a little bit of that nice brown that we got from the Persona palette. And I'm simply just applying it right over top of where we applied the Cocoa Cream Eyeliner. It's just gonna grab on that base and just stay there. To buff this down, I'm gonna pick up that brown from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, the first color we started applying this makeup look with. And I am gonna pick up a Luxie Fluffy Blending Brush, and I'm simply dragging this down. You wanna take your sweet time with this. I like to blend underneath my eyes for a good solid two minutes. Like, sounds a little, but it's a good solid time frame to blend and have that gorgeous blend underneath. So I go over top of the shadow, I don't mind. I actually like doing that just because some of this color will go on that darker brown we applied and make it look even more seamless. To tie in with the black on my lid, I'm going to apply a little bit, like a teensy teensy pinch of black just on the outer corners. Now notice how I'm using a smaller brush because I'm not going to be blending with black. That's a disaster. I'm going to be using a small brush like this just to place the black. That's it. I am now highlighting with the same brush and Champagne Pop from Becca. Pick up any blending brush and simply go over top of this to bring in that crease color right back, yet still keeping that shine. I'm grabbing Brighten Up with the Morphe and Jaclyn JH06 brush from their collaboration, and I'm simply going to smile and apply this on my cheeks right here. And I'm going to grab a little bit more. I'm going to look up and just simply pat this into where I baked just so I have a little bit more brightness and glow there. So you can see the difference is mild, but it's such a youthful change to my skin. So when I smile, this side just looks more youthful and healthy. This side does not. So with whatever's left on my cap, which is, let me show you guys. 
barely anything. I'm just gonna scroll my brush into the cap, tap some off, and tap a little bit on my forehead. I make like a little cross motion, just like one here and one here. I dab on my nose, and I bring this on my chin. Just like that. So the center of my face is just youthful. For lashes, I applied on the Morphe Sophisticated Lash, and I've actually been loving Morphe's lashes because they're super affordable, and they're beautiful. They're comfortable, they're light, and um, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, which was Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics reveal of the holiday collection. I was wearing my favorite lash of Morphe. Applying lashes on camera is... Uh, see? Just got lash glue on my eyeliner. <laughs> it's the hardest thing to do because I am usually always so close to a mirror, but gotta be a YouTuber. <laughs> be right back. Okay, lashes are stuck, liner is fixed. So again, that was the sophisticated lash from Morphe. And now I'm gonna be pretty much tight lining the upper part of my lash line with a black eyeliner. This is from La Mercier. It is called Tuxedo. It's pretty much the same caviar stick, but black. <gasps> okay, I'm just gonna attempt to fix this. <laughs> what smudge? To hide that area that I used a Q-tip <laughs> to kind of remove the smudginess, I am going to apply the shade Extra from Jaclyn's Beaming Light Collection as an inner corner highlight and to kind of mask that area where the Q-tip kind of took a little bit of the foundation away. I have rediscovered my love for Pure Cosmetics mascara. I don't know why I ever stopped using this mascara. It is so good. I fell in love with it when I was working with them for my master class. They were sponsoring my class and I was doing some looks for them. And I don't know why I didn't get this sponsored for my master class, which I am going to most probably for my next one. But this mascara is that mascara where if you smudge, and I like using this on clients for this reason. If you smudge and um, let it dry and do its own thing and then just remove it with the Q-tip, there is no black residue. It comes off so easily. And of course, the performance of the mascara is incredible. I love the blackness, I love the wand, love the formula. It's bomb, it's bomb. For my highlight, I'm gonna go in with this baby right here. This is the ice color from the Jaclyn Flash Palette. And I'm also using her brush, and everything again will be listed below, but I'm just gonna be applying a generous amount. It's the holidays, honey, we are not holding back. Not that I hold back any other time of the year, but you know. It's nice to have an excuse. Next, picking up the Balm shade from her Beaming Lights collection. It is my favorite color from her entire loose... Actually, no, I love Megawa, but I can't use Megawa. But Megawa's Balm is Balm. Picking up the J03 and a little bit of that Balm shade. I'm going to be applying this over top of Iced. A little bit on my Cupid's bow. I'm gonna pick up a tiny brush for my nose highlight. Again, I'm using the same bomb pigment from the Beaming Lights collection. A little bit right there. I'm just gonna take my ring finger and just kind of blend this. Just like that, tone it down a little bit. Now I am gonna do a red lip with this look, but you guys can see it's such a neutralized look where you can do any lip color. I'm using the Red Velvet Lip Liner from Laura Mercier. I truly can't talk when I'm doing lip liner, especially red, so just carry on. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Pixie Orange Red. This is my favorite type of red. I love those bright strawberry, you can tell from my nails, they're not like your solid, deep maroon red. They're like those bright orange, strawberry pop types of um, red. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do today. And I couldn't find the lip liner to match perfectly with this. So I'm gonna go over top of my lip liner. We're gonna pick up the same brush that we used to carve out my brow bone and now I'm gonna just carve out my lips. It's 
So that is it for my holiday transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you actually learned something. That is my aim here. I aim to teach. I aim to share my knowledge. I aim to get tips from you guys too. So anything you guys want to tell me, just tell me in the comment section below. I will be there responding. And every single product that I use will be listed in the description box. So make sure to check that out. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to get notified when I upload my next video. I hope you guys have the best holiday season season and the greatest year ahead. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.